Great day, beautiful people. How you guys doing? I am checking in with you guys live. Currently, uh, T and I are home uh, just for a few days. We're handling business. We're getting some things done. Um, so we are not in the truck. So you don't have the pleasure of seeing me in our in our truck. But nonetheless, we are here. We are home. We are working, um, and we are are staying busy. I wanted to talk to you guys today about making moves on your own terms, right? Um, often, we get caught up in, especially now with social media and the way things are, we have the opportunity to be able to watch um, some are certain people and the people that we love to follow and see how they're living their lives right and see the things that they're doing on a day-to-day -to, -day to create their own version of success but I want to challenge you to move on your own terms and create your own version of success prime example right T and I like I told you we're home we're off the road um, this for a couple days handling some things but our tenant just moved out in one of our investment properties so we've been turning that property over we've had contractors come in uh, we've had we started on removing the flooring because we're moving to just having you know laminate flooring in all of our properties it's going to be easier it's going to just make things more turnkey for us in the future um and also we are dealing with a plumbing issue we had a leak actually in the ceiling that we're having to have fixed but i say all that to say those things incur costs so with us being investors, with us moving into this realm and having investment properties, we had to understand that, okay, there's gonna be good times where we're gonna have awesome tenants and our tenants are gonna be able to pay on time and we're gonna be able to make money, but we're also gonna have instances where things are gonna occur with the property. In our case, we're having a leak. We've had um, problems where our tenant didn't pay on time or didn't pay at all and we had to go through a whole eviction status with that so understanding the totality of what you're getting yourself into is important and I'm just speaking from the strength of real estate but also with regards to experiential marketing you know many of us want to move uh, up into being on tour and making making it right and making money and having that stability but you have to understand that in order to get to that level of being on tour and having the consistent money, you have to put the work in at the brand ambassador level and understand the industry and understand the best ways to advance and move up and obtain the opportunities that you really want. Nothing in life comes easy, right? Um, it takes hard work, it takes patience, it takes a willingness to really understand what you're deciding to pursue, but also educating yourself and following people and teaming up with people and even having mentors who are like-minded that can motivate you and ensure that you are moving towards the goals and the things that you strive to achieve. But at the end of the day, it starts with you. It starts with you making those moves and moving at your own pace and not comparing or trying to live up or trying to measure your success based on what other people are doing. It's great to aspire and to have those people motivate you, but at the end of the day, you got to be true to who you are and make sure that you're moving accordingly and you are doing things that align with who you are and where you're trying to go, you know, not where someone else may be trying to go. So aside from us just working with the investment properties, there's also the trucking um, aspect of this as well. You know, looking at scaling our business, understanding how to scale, understanding um, the trucking industry. You know, we decided to go ahead and get in the truck, but everybody may not take that path. Some people may want to dispatch, you know, some people may want to become a broker. You know, working in logistics, there's so many different ways that you can go about entering this industry, um, but it was a willingness on our part, right, to really understand what we were getting ourselves into before we moved into trucking in the logistics industry. So I definitely want to caution all of you out there to do your research with anything that you're looking to dab into, to get into. Um, find people that are moving on the light, the, the same path that you're moving to help you avoid some of the potential mistakes that you may make. It's okay with saying, I don't know everything. It's okay with um, not being able to fully understand what you're trying to do. But finding the right people who can help you is key. But what's not okay is thinking that you can just um, 
you could just wing it and figure things out because as we all know the lessons learned the lessons that we remember are the ones that cost us the most money right so you have to ask yourself um what investments are you willing to make into yourself into the right mentoring programs and to the right people to help you get to where you truly want to be so it takes sacrifice on your part but i'm here to tell you guys you know you'll reap the benefits you know t and i we sacrifice time we sacrifice um you know being able to do a lot of the things that we want to travel uh, to just enjoy more life right but we also understand that the sacrifice now is going to pay off later so I want to encourage all of you, I want to motivate you to keep moving, keep striving towards your goals, and just understand that you're sacrificing now. As long as you're putting the work in, you doing things the right way, you are um, having the right people around you in your circle, it'll reap benefits later. But you got to start somewhere, right? Fear is a powerful thing, and it can keep us a lot of times from moving into our purpose and achieving the things that we want to do. And I'm I'm guilty of that, you know, being fearful of moving um, to the tour manager level, you know, and experiential marketing, being fearful of starting my own brand and starting my own business and writing my book, You Do What. You know, I had my reservations early on, but I had to make up in my mind that I was going to go ahead and do this and see what happens and see where it takes me. And I'm so glad I did because it helped me build a tough skin that I need to continue to move and to start new business ventures. Now I got, you know, tough skin. I'm like, hey, let's try it. You know, as long as I've educated myself, long as I know what I'm getting myself into, long as I understand the costs associated with it, let's take the chance. You know, I have nothing to lose by trying. You have nothing to lose by trying. But you have something to lose if you don't try and you sit back and you talk yourself out of moving into your purpose and the things that you want to do. So let me motivate you let my story motivate you to keep going you know i haven't arrived i don't think i ever arrived you know but i understand that i have to wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude and even though i have a laundry list of things to do a laundry list guys you know i am grateful that i have that laundry list and i have something that i'm working towards and striving towards every day so as we get ready to get off this live as i get ready to uh wrap this up i just want to recap a couple things with you guys number one make sure that you are moving in, in your direction not in anybody else's direction okay. not what social media is telling you not what your friends and family are telling you stay true to the, to the things that you want to do and move in that direction two make sure that you are putting your best foot forward every day to move towards achieving your goals whether that's writing out a list of things that you want to complete um, on that day some tasks or whether that is taking the time to read content or or network with a potential mentor or take a course that is going to help advance you and educate you and give you the tools that you need to successfully move into your business or your purpose make sure that you are moving towards that a little goes a long way every day and two leave that fear where it's at right you have nothing to lose by starting so Patience is key, time is key, but trust your instinct, trust your gut, and don't allow fear or the fear of failure, because even in failure, there's lessons to be learned. So do what's necessary to get you motivated, because we are all different, um, and work towards striving to achieve that, all right? Um, also, jobs that I'm posting in the EXP Elite group. For those of you who don't know, I have a group, EXP Elite, that's dedicated to helping experiential market professionals in the industry, not only with regards to experiential, but just learning how to move with regards to finances, with real estate. Um, it's a platform that I've created on Facebook that will assist anyone, not only in experiential marketing, well, specifically for those in experiential marketing, but it provides tools to help you outside of the industry to be able to advance because I'm always advocating for having a plan B, C, D. So we've been posting a lot of jobs in that group. And I just want to um, reiterate that the jobs and opportunities there may not be for everyone, right? Your worth, your value is assessed by you. So if you feel like a job may not be best for you or the pay does not match the uh 
the roles and responsibilities or the value that you will bring to a, an event or a pro program, then that's your prerogative and you don't have to apply. But I definitely still want to provide the opportunities with reasonable pay to 